It's no secret that Nux3 is a really powerful tool for Vue developers. And with the official release happening just a few weeks ago, I want to take some time and make a really quick video about some of my personal favorite features of Nux3. Unlike some of my other videos, this isn't a tutorial, but rather a quick list to maybe give you that final push to try out Nuxt if you haven't already. The first thing I love about Nux is its super powerful convention over configuration approach. Nux projects come with a bunch of different directories, each of which Nux can scan and automatically add functionality to your app. Let's take a look at this with a components folder. Let's say that we're working in an app that has this component. Since it's in our components folder, it, Nux can automatically auto import it for the rest of our files. So in other components, pages, or layouts, we don't have to import it, we can just use it straight away. If we only wanted this component to render on the client side, we can just add .client into the name, or if you even wanted to lazy load the component, we can just add lazy right here. Just by editing the name of the file or the component a little bit, we get access to tons of powerful features that would take some time to set up. And I love how small DX improvements like this exist everywhere within the Nux project. Second is its flexibility. A lot of people assume Nux is only for SSR or SSG, but we can actually change the rendering mode inside of our Nux config to create different types of apps. So even if you're creating a client-side rendered single page app, this means that you have access to a lot of Nux features like routing, data fetching, auto imports, and more. Another thing that's super flexible is how we deploy our app. Thanks to Nitro, the server engine that powers Nux, we can really easily deploy our Nux app to so many different cloud providers. So we can deploy to a node server, AWS Lambdas, Vercel, Netlify, and more with minimal or even no configuration. For example, I deploy LearnView on Vercel, and all I have to do is link up to the Git repo, and any pushes to main, automatically trigger builds with all the proper configurations to create the right output. My third favorite thing about Nux is how many use cases have easy out-of-the-box solutions. Of course, the essentials are covered like state management and data fetching, but it goes a lot deeper. You want transitions between pages? That's easy to configure. You're working on a new feature that you don't want in your production build? There's dev-only components. And these lists of the small things that just make our lives easier goes on and on. And of course, this only gets infinitely bigger when you add in all the modules. Honestly, I just have a lot of faith in the Nux team. Some of the modules they made include color mode, Nux icon, Fontaine, Magic Regex, View Use, all of which play really nicely with Nux, and a lot of the times can offer things like a dark mode in just one or two lines of code. So if you're using Nux and haven't just played around with some of these other modules, I highly recommend going to the site and checking them out. Fourth, I love how easy it is to improve your app's SEO using Nux. I create content sites, so of course I think SEO is super important. And Nux makes it easy not only to configure your app level metadata, but also thanks to view use head, we get access to a really nice composable where we can specify things on a page by page basis. Or Nux provides a set of components that we can directly use inside of our template to add this metadata as well. I think both of these approaches make it really easy to manage all of that metadata and make sure you're getting all the clicks from Google that your content deserves. And for the fifth feature, we're actually gonna have a guest on the channel. Full Sight Jack is one of my favorite view channels who also creates really fast paced videos to give you everything you need in as little time as possible. So take it away, man. Thanks, Matt. Full Stack Jack here. It should come as no surprised that my favorite Nux feature is its full stack capability. Hop on over to the Full Stack Jack YouTube channel where you can see not only my favorite Nux features video, but also you can check out my entire series on building a full stack Nux application. We set up a database, we have authentication, and I take you from installation through automated deployment. And there you have it. Those are five of our favorite features in Nux 3. And good news, this is only half the video. If you want to see five other features, make sure to click the link in the description to see the video on Full Stack Jack's channel. But that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one.